All right, we are back here on Bronco Nation News. Rachel Danielson, kind enough to join us uh, live from Honolulu. Rachel, we uh, appreciate your time as always. How are you? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. It's beautiful. I've never been here before and ready for some football. What's, uh, what's it like for you just being the, the coach's wife and making these trips and, and just uh, the whole deal from your perspective? It's been kind of surreal, honestly. Like This whole season is just even sitting on the bus coming here every time is like, it's just a blessing. I'm so happy to be here. And we had our wives trip in Hawaii this year, and it's been so awesome to get to know some of our football coaches' wives, you know, on a more personal level. And it's been really fun. What's uh, a coach's wife? I mean, just, just all that comes with that. Uh, some that people do see, a lot that people don't see. Uh, being Spencer Danielson's <laughs> wife, I guess. How would you describe that to the fans watching right now? Uh, there's never a dull moment, Spencer, as you guys know. Like, whatever I tell people, what you see is what you get. He's just like that at home, all the energy, everything. We balance each other out well because he's high energy. I'm a little more down to earth, so it's a good balance. <laughs> but being coach's wife, it's it's a lot of work, you know, as you guys know, like football season, our, our husbands are gone a lot. So, you know, kudos to all the coaches' wives out there doing a lot. I remember seeing you on the field after the Utah State game last year, the first game where Spencer was the interim coach. And I remember saying, I'm not sure if I should say congratulations or, yeah. I'm, so or I'm sorry. I, it That's was a very right. weird uh, turmoil of, of what was happening. How, how do you put the last year in perspective of, of what's going on in your guys' lives here? Oh my gosh. Well, just thank you, Jesus, really. I mean, it's been a God thing. So it's like I said, it's been a whirlwind. Last The last couple games of last season was like Sitting there, it was just like unbelievable, truly. But I do remember you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny you bring that up. Yeah. That game I'll never forget for the rest of my life. It was truly just amazing. Something we prayed for for a long time. And seeing the team rally around Spencer and in the post game interviews, all getting around him and stuff. Yeah. I mean, that I remember he was just bringing that up last week with playing Utah State again. Uh, but uh, that was super cool. And that kind of started this just wave of, of fans and players and everybody wanted to see him get the job. What was, I guess, first take us back to. Uh, the, the day that he found out he was going to be the interim coach and that first text or call he made to you when, when he when you found out that he was taking over for the rest of the season? Well, I didn't. I actually found out from somebody else via text, and I didn't talk to Spencer until he got home that night. And um, I was sitting on the couch, couldn't get a hold of him all day, and I was just sitting on the couch waiting for him to come home. And so somebody else let me know. And honestly, my world kind of shattered. You know, as you guys know, football is – kind of crazy there's a lot of turnover people move all the time so um it was kind of crazy i was up in the mountains no service so i had two hours to digest it going down which wow. was actually nice <laughs> um for me but um but at the same time you know i'll say i had a huge piece about it i i from the beginning knew spencer was going to get the job i just had a piece about it but you know it's, <laughs> it's amazing how things worked out so and how that that wave went and then you guys win the the championship game and spencer talked about the the flight the next uh, after the game or the next morning whenever it was that he kind of uh jeremiah kind of saw him and just said nice game oh coach and God, didn't let on anything to what was happening but what, then what was that like the next day when you, you did get the word that it, he was getting the, the full-time gig oh i, I by the way the lighting's terrible here can i switch oh, sides with you sure, yeah. although i'm gonna have you step back on this mic here sorry about that they'd rather see you than uh, than me and the lighting's better <laughs> for you on that side so we'll, we'll do that but um, uh the, the championship game and getting the job there yeah, no, I remember that flight, uh, Spencer and I looking at each other and JD just kind of being like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And we were just like, okay. I was like, well, I don't know. And so wow. um, just no emotion. But talking to JD now, he was like, I was trying to like keep it calm, you know. Um, but I remember I was praying and he called me. And I remember being in my closet, shut my door because my girls were freaking out. But I was like, I need, I need to hear this. And he said, babe, I got the job. And then I started. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. Pretty crazy. What, what, yeah. a, what a year. What, when he, uh, does he, you know, when he comes home, I mean, is it, is he still watching stuff on the iPad or can he ever just get away? I mean, what's it like at home of, of a football coach? Honestly, it's been the best year that it since, um, Spencer makes it a priority to be home. Um, and when he's home, he really is home. Um, in the past, it's been a little more challenging, um, and this year he has like made it truly a priority. I've seen him more this year than I ever have. Wow. Yeah. So, um, I still kind of get when he walks into the door, I'm still like, what time is it? You're home kind of <laughs> early, <laughs> you know, or it's season time. Yeah. So 
you know, it's been wonderful. Well, it sounds like he's given more time, you know, in the evenings on road trips for the players' families. Like yeah. what the the family man, I guess that 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 he is behind the, the scenes. What what's he like? And it seems like a lot of that is the same guy that that we see in in practice and media and stuff. It, I mean, it really is. Like Spencer is very genuine. Um, he's very authentic, and um, the best thing I love is like he is an amazing with our girls. Like when he's with the kids, he's with the kids, and like I I can't be more proud of him being able to balance his job now because it's so much more public now mm -hmm. um, and then being able to come home and being able to just like set that aside and really be with his girls it's it's awesome and i don't know if uh you know when, when i was going to bring this up you mentioned the, the two girls at home uh <laughs> yeah. congratulations sounds Thank like you. there's going to be an addition coming there is march 8th is our due date so um we're not going to find out so we and it's kind of hard to not think we're going to have another girl because we have two girls but Spencer's like, you know, I have 115 boys, so it's, you know, maybe it's a good balance to have more estrogen at home. <laughs> you know, I don't know. So, do, yeah, do you, well, congratulations on that. Thank That's you. awesome. Do, do you ever get any kind of vacation or a day off at all? I, I do. Yeah. You know, I've, I've kind of made that a priority this year for me, yeah. um, especially now adding a third because um, you have three kids. Don't two, you? two. Two. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, but. You know, I know that that's, you know, it's constant for a mother. So um, I've, I've definitely had a couple days a week where I take a couple hours. Yeah. For myself what about as a family and with Spencer? Do you guys get any time off at all? We try. Obviously we not this time of year, probably. No, we go to Mammoth every year in California for about a week with his family. They've been going for 20 plus years. Um, and then uh, Spencer and I try to make something for us just to do we're trying to make that more of a priority and if we could take the girls probably when they're older we'll take them more to games would be the um hopefully is what we can do yeah ellie was real sad she couldn't come to hawaii this time yeah you, yeah <laughs> the, the flight the six hour flight i'm sure you would have uh, it it's more rosy my little yeah my two-year-old that we're not quite ready for that yet. So uh, when you're in the stands watching a game, I mean, do you get super nervous? Are you able to, are you calling out stuff? Cause you know, the game plan already, you've <laughs> seen him going over it. I mean, are you, uh, what, what's it like uh, from your perspective, watching the games as a fan? I get really nervous. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard for me to watch games unless it's like a game like we had last week. Uh, you know, that makes me be able to kind of sit back a little bit, but um, any, every game it's, nervous i'm always nervous i have sometimes i have to get up and walk yeah. <laughs> so. now uh come this way just a little bit you're falling out of the shot here you mentioned you knew he was going to get the job yeah. to see what he's done with it i mean how proud are you i guess you're probably not surprised to see how well it's gone i'm not surprised I, I i will say that i'm very proud of spencer i think this is everything that he's ever wanted he knew that the job was going to be hard you can't you don't really know till you're in it right um but he has done phenomenal and he's kept his priorities which i am very proud of him for because there's certain things like family and time certain things like efficiency where he's like this is important to me so we can have time with our families yeah and so he's done a great job with that. what's something that uh fans don't know about him that they should or that that you that that you know that that maybe he's his personality or what he likes to do or something that he's that that isn't out there that people should know about him he's he's might have said this but spencer was homeschooled and with people like kind of which i think is amazing i didn't when i met him it kind of gave me a little bit of a shock yeah. but um i i say that like as a joke a lot of times <laughs> which i think being homeschooled is amazing um and uh but just to see and all of his brother and his sister were too and just to see like his personality and stuff sometimes you just don't think it really aligns but yeah it's kind of like a funny thing that now I, like. I may have done a little research and, and asked about the first time you guys met uh from his perspective oh, uh yeah <laughs> what's his perspective uh, well you talked about you know you both be you, know, you being the, the star volleyball player at azusa oh. pacific and uh, i guess was it your uh either roommates were dating or friend, yeah. close friends were dating yeah. and he went to a game and and i guess was like i gotta meet her well uh, the first time i saw spencer he had his sunglasses on inside he had and he had his uh, arm around another girl, and I just judged him immediately. <laughs> and then after that, I, you know, my my roommate and teammate was dating his uh, teammate and roommate, so okay. they're now married as well. And uh, yeah, I found out I guess I played volleyball, and then he was pretty persistent. I'd say I was not he interested did. initially. I heard it took a while. <laughs> <laughs> He's very persistent, very confident. So I was like, huh, maybe. Maybe let's give this a try. Well, it's all worked out. You fast forward a decade, I guess. Final thing, just your your thoughts on this game, this team. I mean, everything's rolling pretty good right now. It's got to be a lot of fun for for you and the Danielson family. Oh gosh, this team's amazing. I mean, you guys see like 
And he says it all the time, like, our players are awesome. They truly are just – they're great players, but they're even better people. And our, we have an amazing staff. It's been so fun to see the success, and but this game, you know, it's a it's game one again. Yeah. You know, like it's Hawaii, and I know, like Spencer says, like they're well coached, they're good. Like <laughs> we got to go in and play hard, you know, especially being in Hawaii. That's been the toughest thing is staying focused, right? Yeah. And the boys, I know, have done a great job. I've been out, you know, doing other things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so it's vacation for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we uh, really appreciate your time. Congrats yeah. again on the the, the uh, third one on the way. Thank you. Good so luck much. tonight. Uh, the rest of the season. Safe travels back after the game, and we'll be uh, talking to you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you, appreciate it. There she is, Rachel Danielson.